say bloody hell i was gonna say good morning um hello everybody so i'm this vlog in london i'm so sorry i didn't actually even intro this vlog You're probably thinking saffron where the hell are you Jimmy and i have actually just been and seen a show in london called diary of a ceo live which is by stephen bartlett and he is basically the founder of a company called Social Chain. He and I have actually like listened to his podcast for so long now. I actually also read his book as well. The only book I think I've ever actually finished in my life apart from my own. Um, so and Libby and I, we actually went and, went and got it together, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So um, he's put on a show which is like a live podcast. But let me tell you, it is so much more than just a live podcast. It was absolutely... Absolutely phenomenal. I tried to film some little clips for you, but honestly, like there was a full choir. We, we went to church. We got taken to church. <laughs> we got taken to church. Honestly, it was so it was inspirational, incredible. and it's just honestly like I've walked out of a different mindset. A lot of the things I agreed with what he said, obviously, anyways. Like I literally love him, and there's so many things I agree with what he says, but like so many things also I never really thought about. If that makes sense, like just little things like putting yourself first and um I'm trying to think, what was that quote that you absolutely loved? Oh, it was, <laughs> I don't even think it was in this show, but he did, he said it once, I think it was him, and it was, if you're always trying to keep the peace around you, you'll never keep the peace within you, and I wow. thought that was a very nice quote. Mm -hmm. yes. Very nice quote. I've also got a new favourite quote from watching the show. I'll pop it on screen, yeah, this is actually does. about relationships, and I would say it, but I probably would say it wrong exactly to the quote, so if I can find it, I'm going to pop it on screen now. But there's just so many things that like you just think, wow, and just really makes you reflect and appreciate life and just being happy is like the most important thing in life like more so than success and everything else so um yeah it was just amazing honestly we just had the best time we danced so much oh my god it's so funny like Libby and I Libby cried two minutes in she was crying laughing dancing crying. yeah <laughs> And then we're the only two people like bopping our head at our seat as well, honestly, it was so funny. But yeah, so we've just been and seen that. It was so amazing. And now we are just spending the night in London. I actually drove to London, which I never do. We was actually gonna go out, but then no. we went to church and we thought, we should stay Hell no, yeah. Hell no. And to be honest, right now, I'm so excited to take off my makeup. Like, I'm so grateful that we are back in the room. PJs are on. Gonna get ready. Go to bed. Um, and we're actually gonna book a uh, workout class in the morning. It's just because I have loads of foundation on the beach. You have, like, a full face. Also, today is an amazing day because my new TV show that I've just finished filming has finally come out. If you don't follow my Instagram, you might not even know about this. If you don't, where are you living? And you should go and follow my Instagram. <laughs> so you know about things like this but last year i actually filmed genuinely excuse the pun but the best tv show of my life like it was just amazing it's called the real dirty dancing if you're a fan of the movie dirty dancing you will guarantee love this series it is so funny um it was honestly like the most uncomfortable i've ever felt doing anything in my entire life because i had to dirty dance with people that i just met but it's so funny, like honestly, I haven't even watched it myself yet, but my mum sent me videos and she is like creasing. She is just absolutely in bits. My, brother, my brothers have texted me and my family saying it's so funny. So Libby and I, we're gonna watch it on catch up now, hoping that we can. But yeah, if you see it, if you have seen it, don't forget to tag me. It's on Monday and Tuesdays on channel four um, at nine o'clock. So don't miss it and it's on for four weeks. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, everybody. Should the Biore ads? <laughs> yes. Biore who? Saffron's all over me. <laughs> it's wet as you like. Oh my god. I my um, eyelash glue has gone all over Libby's thing. Libby, well, I thought you thrived in a hotel room. No, it's not <laughs> Libby just goes to me, I think I just thrive in a hotel room. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I just got a new camera. I swear it's like blurring my skin. 
Good morning, everyone. I have actually just got a new vlogging camera, so let me know how you guys think about this. It's totally different to the vlogging camera I was just using. You might notice absolutely no difference at all, but it's so weird vlogging with this. But it is bright and early, and Libby and I it's are off to Soul Cycle. Very, very early. Oh, uh, Libby got up. I don't even know how you got up when you I were up. I don't even know how. I, I feel like I should have to tell to get up, otherwise yeah. you're never getting up. Okay, I'm rustling around, and I was thinking <laughs> this is a bad, bad idea. I didn't touch on my feelings, dress and appearances. Feeling more solid about who the man in the mirror is. I reach for hearts through the speaker box to connect with strangers. Painting the page with the language, but off the mic, I barely speak it all. I seldom see a flaw, bitch, I need it all. Shook Straight my from our workout, which we smashed, by the way, so proud. But was going to get an acai, but all morning, I've been craving scrambled eggs and toast. So we've ended up coming to the Ivy. Um, I've got scrambled eggs and toast, got some baked beans. It actually looks like everything I've been dreaming so of and talking about. Libby got some salmon, oh, avocado yeah. and salmon. Did you get extra salmon? Yeah, I love salmon. that. <laughs> it looks delicious. People think that I can dance when actually I can't even isolate any part of my body, so I'm a little bit nervous for all the hips and the legs. Yeah, I'm not saying that I can do that. I just don't. I'm sexy. Go, girl. Woo! We are cracking up. We're sat watching the real dirty dancing. How is it, Mum? <laughs> so funny. Honestly, so you have funny. to watch this show if you haven't so yet funny. already. I every Monday and Tuesday. Last night laughing, just cringing for everybody. It's Mom, just so I was crying. I was literally doubled over. It was so, so funny. funny. You've had to go back on this bit. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Random. The thing is, I was actually doing that backstage. I realised they were recording. You don't see that again, his mum's voice is really doing that again. I can't say, though I always gotta go. Playing house to stay home with my soul. It's your birthday. Here we go, here we go. Hey. Thank you. Boxes. I think he definitely needs them. Oh, lovely. Are you all really wanting to know that? Well, mine are currently ripped, but I'm bare right now. Oh, this this was um this was like a, a long shot. Because they probably look really molly, but I feel like they look nice on. Oh, sorry. They could look nice. No, no, I'll use them for safari. They look quite big. Thanks. I'm trying, Mom. <laughs> they could look Molly. Just look no, they could look nice. Thank you very much. I like this. It doesn't look that big, does it? Mm, well, it's very small. Well, did you get medium? medium. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, they always sign. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it, thank you. Oh. Jed never hugs anyone. Can't wait till he no, opens my present. Okay. Which means I get a hug. Okay, get off. Get off. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Good morning, everyone. So it is currently Jed's, but I say currently, Bosh. it's Jed's birthday. Imogen's here, also Hello. celebrating Jed's birthday. We are actually going out for dinner, um, all of us family. So we've actually just met, we're meeting mum and dad in town because they have been shopping in town and stuff. Casey and Nicole and the kids are still in Brazil, so they can't come. So basically, it's just the five of us, but basically, we're going no out for dinner. No one cares about my birthday. No How one cares rude. about Jed's birthday. So rude. Have you had a good birthday so far though, Jed? Yeah, it's been good, it's been good. And we are going to a restaurant I've always wanted to go to, by the way. Jed, drum roll. Um, coal shed. <laughs> that, that didn't sound like Jed was very excited to go there. I've he actually wanted either. to go to I only just shed. heard about it. No, it's, I heard about it. Oh, like, did you not even want to go? I wanted to go burnt orange. Oh. Apparently it's full, so most of the culture is really good. But they do steaks, it's a, steak, so it's a steakhouse, and yeah. Steaks. And they own some of my favourite restaurants in Brighton. Actually, the owner of Coal Shed also owns Burnt Orange. Probably no one even cares about this. But anyways, that's where we're going to celebrate Jed's birthday. I can't believe Jed's not even going out tonight. Like, I'm honestly so surprised. Jed didn't want to go out on his birthday. He just wanted to have a nice meal with the family. I don't like things being about me, you know what I mean? Like, I'm quite um, humble guy. And, right. So, yeah. no, seriously, Jed actually didn't want to go out because he didn't want everyone to like start partying. You know, you know when people are like, oh, happy birthday, and they're drunk. Oh, nah, not for me. <laughs> We're currently waiting for one floor. <laughs> and it's down. Over a lift. Yeah. So, I've got this stuff. <laughs> oh, 
I just oh look my. in a camera every time I'm like, ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> Get rid. What do you, do you think do when you look good? Give it to me. I think I look fit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, wait for the birthday boy. Yeah, wait for the birthday boy. It's well rude. Hi. Oh, God, are you alright? Dad's joking. I know, I just saw that. It was so cute. And he's like, oh my God. Oh my God, I didn't know she was there. There she is. Dad, I'm just I'm making moves, moves, moves every day. Part it's part like not even a big deal anymore, Mum, is it? No, it's, it's just. I'm just used to it. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't get out much, do I? No, you really don't. Every now and again, you got to let your head down. <laughs> Guess what? House to ourselves next week because not, not tomorrow, day after, <laughs> Mum and Dad go to South Africa. <laughs> Jed and I have house to ourselves. We're at battle party. It's gonna be so good, so good. Anyways, um, we're just arrived at the restaurant. Gonna order a lot of steak. I'm actually running a half marathon tomorrow so I need to carve up so I'm gonna tuck into the good old bread in front of me. You know how it is. Oh my goodness, yeah. It is, wow, it looks amazing though. Thank you. Oh, it's delicious. Oh wow, look at that wedge salad, Wendy. Look at that. Oh my god, this food looks so yummy. That's sensational. Wowza. Oh my god, the garlic potatoes are so good. So good. God, guys, I've got chewing gum <laughs> stuck it between my legs. So you wanted to all of a sudden, you yeah, so, all of so. a sudden, I felt my legs stick together, and I thought, "What? It's about a bit of mint." Here we are, go everyone. I can't get this off now, so that's good. That Love that. Me and mum met. Yeah, that is. It is actually. <laughs> that is actually how your mum met. You've got stuck by chewing gum, right? Yeah, mum yes. dropped stuck. chewing and gum who, who all over I mean? her, no on one. her jeans as well. And I was picking it off. There's a couple of fellas over there, Stefan. <laughs> Have a look around, see if there's anyone that takes your life. <laughs> six, six well, you can pick it off for me, just like Dad did for you. <laughs> Thank you Brilliant. Happy birthday so to lovely. you! Go on then, Jade. It's so cool. Right? He's saying it Brazilian. That is. Really cool. Oh no, it's Christmas actually. <laughs> that is. That's Christmas. That's Christmas, <laughs> that's Christmas isn't it? <laughs> They're so weird. Who has a punch fight? Go on then. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> you hit me on my wrist. Wait, let me do it on something. No, that was a free one. Free. Yeah, you would second. actually punch as hard as possible. That's me. Se second one. Jed, he's like, never gone to the gym a day in his life. Wow. <laughs> 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 go on then, geezers. <laughs> um, Imogen, you've got to do one. I'll do two. You can do one. You can definitely do one. Go, go. I can't. I'm driving. Happy birthday! Oh wow, look at these two! This is what you call the youngsters. That's not uh, that's like washing up liquid. Is that, is that lemon cello? Uh, yeah. Is that what it was? It's like washing up liquid. It's my fault. Can we need to go because we're in taxi van. They must actually hate me. Huh? Good morning everyone, it is a new day, it is Sunday morning, it is so early, it's 7am right now and today I'm running the Brighton Half Marathon with my friends. Jasmine's over, she's coming in a cornflakes, her pre-half marathon fuel. I'm actually kind of dreading it because I'm going to insert a clip now, but if you get nauseous or you don't like blood or anything gross or pus or anything like that, please skip. I will leave a time on screen now as to when you can skip to. If you've been on my Instagram, you've probably seen it anyways. Anyways, I'm going to insert it now. So anyways, um, this is currently my foot situation. I probably should not be running on it, but 
I really want to do this run. So my dad's been my little doctor this morning. Haven't you, dad? He's uh, taped up my foot and I'm just hoping that I can get through the pain. Yeah, kind of nervous. Oh, my oats are done. I need to eat my oats. I'm going to have oats and some peanut butter. I would have a banana, but it's so early in the morning. I might have a banana, but I don't want to eat too much. I feel sick. It's only a half. It's not a full marathon, so I don't need to eat loads. But yeah, so like porridge and peanut butter is like the best thing. But I literally ran nine miles the other day and my legs are still in agony from it. Like, honestly, press my leg and it's sore. Like, it's so sore. So I'm just, oh, I'm hoping I'm gonna be fine. Pre, half run, breakfast. Half run, half marathon run. <laughs> right, we've come into one picture before of you. we start. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we <laughs> can. <laughs> we got an number done. Oh, I need to pin this one though for the rest of you. Does that one keep back? Huh? Another yeah, I need to get another pin yeah. for this, but it's all good. Oh, oh thank you. There we go, I love that. But we are ready to run. I'm actually limping just walking, which is fun. But guys, we're gonna suck it up, we're gonna get it done. Right, everyone, we are walking to the start line. Um, yeah, we're running for the charity Sussex Beacon. I'm so happy to be running for them. Um, it's such a nice local charity. And it's bloody freezing, it's so cold. Um, I've taken paracetamol off my foot, hoping I can just suck up the pain. Also, without being too, too high, I always get such a funny tummy before I do these runs um, like literally like every single time and I never ever get out of anything else that I do so it goes to how nervous I get even though I basically did a half marathon the other day and um, the sun just about a race it just makes it really nerve-wracking but yeah there's a good group of us it should be really fun so yeah the sun's out as well it's bloody lovely but it's bloody freezing my hands Oh my goodness, they are so cold. Keep doing this, just pump blood through them. Also, oh my god, oh my god, I just dribbled. That's freaking disgusting. quickly changed from the half marathon it was oh my god i found it so difficult i can't even explain it's a couple of hours later now i literally had to get home and get changed my legs are killing me they are in agony right now but this evening honestly it's such a day end up running the half marathon this morning and now um, i'm just about to turn up on dancing on ice which no i'm not actually going on the ice i wish i was like oh my god that's like my dream so fingers crossed one day i'll be able to go on the show but i'm actually coming down to support connor harriet's in the back <laughs> harriet Josh, you're also in it now. Hello. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, me and H are gonna go watch the show. It should be really good. Yeah, I've had such a good day today, to be fair, but I don't even know how I'm here with makeup on because honestly, like when I say I was just as exhausted from doing the half as I was the full, like I don't know why. I think it's just because my blister was so sore. Like the, the pain that I felt running today, it was like uh, just a different level. Putting my shoes on now just hurt. So, anyways, we're here and I'm gonna to film yeah some sort of like behind the scenes if i can actually saying that i don't know if i can but i'll try oh my goodness it looks so cool we are sat down oh my goodness it's so weird it's so much smaller isn't it than yeah it looks on tv but i said the same thing about strictly i was like it's so much smaller than anyone expects like you just can't even explain until you're here isn't it i walked in and i was like oh what is this the yeah. practice one or is this the one we're watching but it's so cool we are so excited honestly i literally can't wait i think like ice skating is like one of the coolest things in the world to be able to do i can't ice skate so i mean i can like I can go around without holding the barriers, but like that's as best it gets. It's very slow. I wouldn't consider it that I can ice skate. So um, yeah, it's really cool. I'm I'm excited to see, and I'm excited to see Connor. 